All right. So the next question is, what is the what is a growth? What is the growth rate of beta fish? Because mine seem to be growing slow. That's a pretty common question too. We see. I guess it would depend on how old your fish is. If mm -hmm. your fish is typically by the time a breeder allows the fish to go, it's usually around about three months old. Mm -hmm. And at three months old, it should be max length almost. At three months. Mm hmm. Okay. Yep. It, it's very close to maximum growth at okay. three months. They will still gain a little bit of size, but it's usually the most, the majority of the growing is in the first three months. And if your fish comes to you and it's this big, when you get it, then the breeder was garbage, unfortunately. That's, mm -hmm. just, that's just the way it is. If your fish don't, I, as a breeder, we have kind of like, a, like markers that we hit at certain stages of the fish's development. And if it doesn't, if it doesn't hit those markers, then that, that fish, it becomes a soft call or it actually will be a call, a full call. Okay. Yeah. I did a quick Google search and betafish.org says beta fish are considered fully developed once they reach approximately seven months old, but can grow mm -hmm. larger depending on their environment and care. So They're how about, also sexually re reproductive at three and mm -hmm. a half months old. Four months, four months is but, commonly when they're fully able to spawn. So but how about this, Gigi? If someone, if this question was posted, at what level would a fish keeper have to worry about their beta fish not growing adequately, or maybe it's malnourished? Like, what would be a telltale sign? that um i don't know it's what would you tell them if do you mean like a young fish or you know sorry, I, i'm not sure if i completely followed what you were trying to say <laughs> i apologize no no it's okay um is should it, at what point should a person be worried about their beta fish not growing from a breeder's standpoint um you know, when people ask it, I'm trying to think of if I'm I was thinking like if, if someone had a fish that was sent to them, mm -hmm. because a person would ask how right. fast they grow, you know, because maybe they're wondering if, you know, because I sometimes wonder if my fry aren't growing fast enough. And it's like, it's almost like you want to put into check or you want to have a generic answer to put what you're doing into check, you know, like, yeah, I yeah, I've found out that I underfeed a lot of my fry and it's just like. Well, I don't want to do that. You know what I mean? So it's, mm -hmm. I guess that is more of a breeder standpoint question, it, isn't it? it? Now that I think I, about I, it. I, yeah. kinda, I mean, I would typically say it was a, would be a breeder standpoint question unless, for instance, someone who has had maybe two or three beta before and then they get this, this beta and it just looks terrible. Mm -hmm. um, maybe really skinny would be a telltale be, sign. Being skinny, um, being particularly small, maybe... Um, a beta's back is usually typically it would be very very mm -hmm. smooth. If there's like any like uh, lumps or ridges or like it doesn't look uniformly smooth, mm -hmm. then that's a telltale sign that something's wrong. Um, that there's some sort of you know deformation yeah. during the growth process, and typically it would be unfortunately it would be the breeder's fault. And I would say too, if your fish is malnourished, a lot of times what happens is the problems start to snowball. Like yeah. maybe mm -hmm. you're already seeing fin rot or you, you, the coloration of your fish is going to suffer. Yeah. Um, I'm just trying to think of some other things, you know. Typically, like when it comes to uh, fish that are deformed in any particular way, mm -hmm. certain for beta, typically those issues actually present before those fish would even quote unquote be sent out to anybody. Mm -hmm. A breeder should pick up on those straight off the get go, unless they're a first time breeder and they just didn't see it. Mm -hmm. um, which sometimes some conditions get worse as the fish gets older. So let's say for instance, there was a slight kink in the spine at three months old or two months old and the breeder didn't spot it. But at four and a half months old, the fish was like an S shape. And that does happen. That does happen. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> How about this? Maybe a person is wondering if they're underfeeding their they're if they're underfeeding their fish. So maybe, how often would you say you would feed a beta fish every day? 
an adult. Mm -hmm. I feed my beta, my adult betas, like my fully grown adult betas get fed twice a day. Okay, I was just going to say that, twice a day. Mm -hmm. I feed oh. them in the morning when the lights mm -hmm. come on and at nighttime before the lights go out. OK, 